Hello, Mr. Armstrong. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Um, we're really excited to have you. Um, I would just like to ask you a couple questions about your experience at Waves so far um, and maybe what drew you to Waves um, in the first place. Thank you. I've been working with the Vedic community for about 23 years and what, what we're seeing is a renaissance of the knowledge of India, of Bharat, and all of the people that have come here have come to contribute something to the idea of how do we educate human beings to the very best that they can become. Absolutely. Um, and in your particular field of research um, with astrology, what has been your opinion about the content and the research produced here um, relating to that field? And have you been able to interact with any other co-researchers that do similar research to you? There are some people here practicing Ayurveda, and everyone here is practicing some form of yoga. So yoga, Ayurveda, and Jyotish, or Vedic astrology, are all intimately connected because the whole culture is based upon the concept of reincarnation or rebirth. And this paradigm takes a longer view. So sometimes I teach from the Vedas and Vedanta, and as a Jyotishi, what I was helping people to see is how the horoscope at birth is a blueprint of our body, our body type, and the way we're constructed. So it, if you were driving an automobile, you'd want to know what it make and model was and how, what kind of mechanic to use. So astrology is about the make and model of this body you got this time and how to live in it successfully. And that seems like fascinating work. Um, and I know that at the conference, there's also a lot of other topics being presented as well. So how has your experience been um, maybe attending some of the other lectures and uh, meeting other researchers in the field? It's a little like you have a place that's itching and you can't scratch it. Being with a lot of great scholars, they know something you don't know and they know it very profoundly and deeply. So it's like getting a vitamin shot where you get all the vitamins. It's yummy, it makes you feel invigorated, it makes you feel more alive and excited about living. And you also know where to go to get those vitamins, so it's just been wonderful. Well, I'm glad that you've had such a great experience. Um, is there any further research um, from you that we should look forward to coming in the next few months or years? Well, for 10 years I've been working on a unique project to translate the Bhagavad Gita. A translation means to carry a cross. So the knowledge has been coming from India, from Sanskrit, from a different culture, to the rest of the world. And now it's in a renaissance stage where it's the flower starting to open. So it means the language needs to get more precise. So in the next translation I'm doing, I'm removing some language that should not have been used and using some language that makes the meaning a little bit more clear. And it's the, sort of the symbol of all that we're doing. The media, like what we're doing, is making the whole world communicate with each other. And even though there's maybe too many selfies, if we make it into selfie realization, that's useful. So the language of how we exchange knowledge influences what we learn. So that's one of my specialties. Well, that sounds uh, like amazing work. Um, and we're really excited and looking forward to reading more about that. Um, so thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Namaste.